Hey guys, I'm Matthew Dom, and this is Mastery's Brewing Co. So day to day is really running two different operations. We got a back house and we got a front house. Our back house is that early morning come in operations of making beer doing all the things that involve making beer. Again, brewing, packaging, cellar work, all the things that it does to go and take the grains that we bring in, combine it with the hops, ferment it over the yeast, get it in the tanks, get it packaged in the beer, and get ready to put it on draft. Now that's one step of our operation. And then step two, clearly the tasting room side, where customers come in, get to enjoy the product, get to talk to us, hang out, relax, enjoy the products that we're making during the back house operation. So as you can see, coming right out of the bright tank, right off this little sample valve, beer's gonna come out a little bit foamier, but again, that's because it's fresh right out of the tank, all infused with CO2, and we don't have it going through a draft line. So you're getting it right out, coming out really quick, a lot of dynamic energy going on, and of course, that's stirring up the liquid, which is allowing that CO2 to release out of it. So we just let that calm down a little bit. This is our Belgian quad, getting ready to put this in the kegs and get this on tap for the weekend. If you're not familiar with a Belgian quad, very traditional Belgian style, higher ABV beer. You can note that it's definitely darker in color, and that all comes from those dark malt grains that we use in it. In a beer like this, you're not focused on hops. A lot of times you hear hops in beers and think about hoppiness profiles, not this style of beer. There is hops in it, but this beer is all about the yeast and the grain. So you take those dark roast grains and then let the yeast attack it really work with those sugars and it enhances and brings out those sweeter flavors. You're getting a lot of dark fruit tones, so you might get some plum, some raisin, um, really anywhere you think about what dark fruits, you know, those type of characteristics, that's what you're going to kind of get out of a Belgian quad. Very soft, easy to drink, nice, um, again, not a, not a bitter beer at all. Big part about beer, especially good craft beer, is making sure you smell it. Get a lot of really cool, nice aromas off of it. Oh yeah, that's gonna be really nice, really smooth. Definitely has a little bit of a thicker viscosity. Again, higher ABV beer, darker beer. Um, yeah, drinks really nice, really smooth. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna be a fan favorite on tap. In general, there's a lot of planning that we have going on constantly behind the scenes here at Mastery's Brewing Co. Usually the first of the month, really the first Monday of the month, it's really kind of the team roundtable meeting. Go on the tasting room manager, brewing side operations, myself, sit down, kind of look at what happened in the last 30 days and come up with a good solid plan of what we need to do for the next 30, 60, 90 days coming up. Again, when we think about beer, you know, we always see what's on tap, but generally anything on tap, we've already been working on 30 to 45 days prior to, you know, what we have going on today. <laughs> 